Welcome to Adam's TV, and we are going to check out Dragons and Diamonds. This game is not idle, and you are going to need to play it as a puzzle game. You are going to have enough offers for you to watch ads in order for you to get more and more resources, but this is going to be the idea. Eventually, most likely, you are going to have up to 5 heroes, which is going to need to merge specific colors in order for you to be able to cast their skill. That's going to be the focus and the idea over here. If you're going to break the barriers over here, you're going to be able to merge more and more items by merging more and more similar items. Eventually, you're going to be able to get an additional skill. You're just going to need to try to pass this wave in order for you to qualify for the next round, next round and so on. If you're going to do that, you're going to be able to get different kind of chests in the chest. You're going to be able to find new and new hero fragments that you are going to use in order for you to level up your heroes that you're going to throw into this fight over here. The game is not that hard as I mentioned, you're just going to need to merge similar similar colors. Uh, if you're going to merge 5 similar colors, you're going to be able to get the skill if I'm not mistaken. If some of your heroes will die, you're going to be able to revive them. And the other heroes in your party will also get refreshed, let's say. You're going to get some healing uh, potions out of it, let's say. And definitely that will be really really helpful. Now you're going to clear the wave, then you're going to go next for the harder and harder monsters. Just try to do your best and try to, uh, let's say, merge as many items as you can in order for you to get the skill. Here it is, I'm going to get uh, the skill for the purple thing. Uh, if you're going to merge five similar items, that's how you're going to be able to get the skill. I'm going to quit over here, sorry. Uh, similar, similar things in the campaign mode, just go as further as you can. Uh, these are going to be the hunters. Uh, with different kind of colors let's hope that they will do more and more upgrades in order for us to see more and more heroes definitely the game can have a lot lot of improvement let's say but hey, give it a try and let me know how far you reach you're going to have the possibility to complete different kind of quests different kind of logs let's say and by completing them you're going to get the possibility to unlock different kind of options to get more and more gold coins if you're going to get enough gold coins you're going to be able to upgrade the characters the hunters that you have over here also you're going to have the shop where you're going to be able to get additional let's say bags a punch every six hours and that's how you're going to be able to get more fragments for your heroes that you need now if you have noticed that you did not collect all all the stars from the previous locations you can go and play in the previous location in order for you to collect all the stars and that's how you're also going to be able to consume your energy that you have if you notice that you cannot pass a specific way. So go back in the previous one, try to kill the monsters faster and that's how you're going to get more and more rewards. Easy as that. It's not that hard. Simple, simple game honestly. If you have played it and wish for the drop a comment, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe because daily you're going to find here a new idle game, most likely. This one is not idle, but hey, I do try other games also. Until next time, be safe. Bye.